Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week number 9, I believe, of the AP Academy. And we are up against Shady and his Buffalo Drills. And, um, this is a really, really interesting week. So, in all honesty, uh, this feels like one of the worst matchups I've had, uh, in building this entire season. Which says a lot because, uh, I haven't been doing great and... It's pretty wild to have a matchup go this badly, but we do see the Lugia, the Milotic, Florges, Hitmontop, uh, Mega Charizard X, and the Ash Greninja. So right off the bat, no Snorlax. No Snorlax is crazy to me, in all honesty. I think Snorlax was one of the strongest things he could have brought against me. No Registeel, which is interesting. No Rhydon, which would have been annoying. No Azelf, no Gorgice, which are the biggest ones. And no Rotom as well, which... Uh, makes as much sense as anything else i mean it would have done a lot against my uh mammoth swine in all honesty but 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 i honestly want to lead off with i honestly want to lead off maybe mammoth swine here or possibly the Sogaleo. I wouldn't mind also leading off with a Palkia. I wouldn't also mind leading off with a Palkia. I think I might do that. I think I, I think I'm gonna do that. Palkia in most weeks is kind of just a catch-all uh, Pokemon where, um, honestly, I I feel like I build it to like take on something super specific but uh it never ends up really panning out that way so i guess I, I don't know i guess theoretically it should take on the lugia if it can get a toxic off on it um it should take on a lot of his bulkier mods if i can get um some toxics off it does lead off with a charizard so right off the bat he i think he has to concern himself with uh a spatial rend and he doesn't know how fast i am he doesn't know how uh strong i'd be although i actually found out uh against die that he doesn't have to mega evolve on turn one so uh but then his dragon claws wouldn't be stabbed and i don't know if he's really about that life right now sorry about that so part of me thinks that my best play would be to get a toxic off but i'm not entirely sure about that i don't think he would want to stay in here too too aggressively though and i really do want to get a toxic off i don't think he would sub turn one i really do not believe he would want to sub turn one i'm gonna click toxic my instinct tells me that he would be one of these um slower bulkier charge art sets does go into the floor just right away so uh was expecting me to click spatial run turn one as i do get a toxic off which uh puts me in an interesting position because now he doesn't know that i have sub and his best play might be to, to click toxic on me um or in particular anything that i would want to switch in here i don't think he would expect me to want to stay in here right and he could just moon blast me, but uh, I don't think he has real a whole lot of reason to believe that I would want to stay in here. Although Toxic would be a bad play if I didn't just want to aggressively bring in a Sogaleo here. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he would click Toxic. Maybe he would click moon blast just to gauge what I would want to go into and gauge damage on Sogaleo. Um, maybe. But that feels dubious to me. And I do want to keep Sogaleo as healthy as possible, which I think he knows that I would want to do. Although, I don't know. Sokaleo still feels really strong to me here. Just, I'm, that switch here would feel really good to me here. Although he could double so easily right now. Expecting Sokaleo to want to come in. And I don't have many solid answers for a Mega Charizard. I really want to click sub. Oh, I don't have sub on this. I think I took sub off at the last second here. So yeah, I think I will go into my Sogaleo here, and I'll see whatever I can do. I do not speed. Uh, I, I completely forgot that I don't have sub on this, but um, does double. Do we see the Mega Charizard? No, it's not. Okay, it's something else. Okay, okay. This is actually what this Sogaleo is meant to kind of take on, and I'm going to click Toxic right away. 
I don't think there's any real reason for me to kind of um, play around here. I really want this thing toxic as soon as I could possibly get it toxic. And this is a pretty toxic stally um, Sogaleo here. But honestly, I have Morning Sun. Um, I think I'm, I think my only attack might be Sun Steel. Oh no, I have Sun Steel Strike, Zen Headbutt, Morning Sun Toxic. That's my full set. Did I miss Toxic? Did I actually miss Toxic? Also, he's a faster Lugia than I would have expected because he outsped me, and I have enough speed for close to no speed. It goes for Earth plus one Earth Power. Um, I should be able to take this. Yeah, yeah. No, we are taking that perfectly fine. We do land the second Toxic. And I don't know where that leaves us. I okay. I'm actually not as specially defensive as I as I remembered. I'm I, I am a careful nature, but I don't have a whole lot of special defense invested. But I am max HP for whatever that's worth. Um. And now that he's toxic, and I know that Earth Power is probably going to be the best move that he has to hit me. Um. Honestly, I really wouldn't even mind trying to go into my my Vicavolt here. If he wants to predict that and click for Aeroblast, I don't think I mind too, too much. He has a plus one, which does actually suck, and actually I should honestly be trying to gauge damage here. I should honestly be trying to gauge damage here. But I will be completely honest, I was not a thousand percent sure that uh, Lugia got Earth Power. So, that's the type of life that I'm living right now. But, uh, Earth Power on Lugia at plus one special attack. Yeah, that's about, that, that actually looks about right for no investment, uh, no offensive investment Lugia. Now, uh, Vicavolt is a pretty obvious play for me to make. Um, it just depends on what play he would want to make in this situation. At plus one, assuming that this thing also has Aeroblast. And I go into Vicavolt, assuming that this thing is no attack investment. Aeroblast at plus one. Okay, Aeroblast at plus one is doing a lot. A lot, a lot. So this could actually be somewhat of a throw if he does go through with an Aeroblast. Well, no, he, he would never click Aeroblast. Yeah, no, that's right. So so every attack that would hit this Sogaleo for, for real damage is not hitting Vicavolt. And whatever would hit Vicavolt is not hitting. But he is staying in because... Uh, a, I mean, a second Call Mind here would be pretty bad for me. does go for the Earth Power. Um, but now I know that I take an Aeroblast pretty darn well. Now I know that I take an Aeroblast pretty darn well. And I didn't take a screenshot of his team, but I'm going to do that on the bottom screen right now. Because I'm already starting to forget a little bit of what his team is. So let me see here. This honestly makes me want to switch again because he would either click Aeroblast or Toxic potentially, and I would don't want to be taking either of those at plus one right now. So uh, that's probably what I'm going to do, but I am just taking a second to get this screenshot off. Uh, Vicavolt does have a really good time against his team, I do have to say, although it's going to be a matter of a few mons on his roster. Regardless, I think the best play would be going back into, um, this does withdraw himself. So that'll put me in a really interesting position with my Sogaleo, uh, goes into this thing. So he was kind of allowing me to, uh, set up an agility if I wanted to. I could have Z-moved that Florges. So, uh, so also, this thing could have, this thing could have aromatherapy, right? Which would be not ideal. But yeah, it looks like even a reasonable Florges, man, Gigavolt Havoc, even to a max HP Florges isn't is uh not doing a whole heck of a lot. However, I have to imagine that Sunsteel Strike is doing quite a bit. Yeah, Sunsteel Strike is in fact doing quite a bit. Uh, so let me see here. I feel like there's no reason not to Sunsteel Strike unless he would want to bring in the... Unless he would want to bring in... Well, no, he he has options. He definitely, definitely has options here. 
he definitely definitely has options however I getting damage off on his team starting to get chip away at a little bit of damage would be solid here I think honestly what I really really want to do is go into mammoth swine here and start setting up rocks and whatnot however I do think that my Lodic is my Lodic or Greninja is too easy of a switch form to make in this situation right now so I'm gonna click Sunsteel Strike does let me get a Sunsteel Strike off um I'm not seeing any type of Babiri Berry um I mean it would have to be super defensive to not KO right now we do in fact KO he did expect me to over predict I'm, I'm pretty positive but that's pretty big that's a pretty big moment for me because um now I mean, now he loses Defog, it looks like. Well, he also has Rapid Spin with, with A1 Top. But yeah, I was, I was just about to say, but this also allows this in for very, very free. And he could expect me to overpredict right now. Um, If I were to get a Zen Headbutt off, how much damage would that theoretically be doing? I, th I feel like it's not going to be worth it because uh, Charizard has natural defense on it some natural bulk on it yeah i think the best play would be palkia here which is kind of yeah honestly palkia is not having doesn't have the best time here and my palkia does have the haban berry right so um he would probably want to he might just go for a raw flare blitz in all honesty let's go for a dragon dance here um, I don't know if you would want to, yeah, this is, this is a tough one because, I don't know, this is a tough one. I do want to click Spatial Rend though. Spatial Rend would do quite a bit, however, yeah, so this is going to be a situation where if he does Mega Evolve, Surf is going to do a lot. If he, Well, also, he does kind of have to Mega Evolve in order to get the extra stab damage from, from Dragon Claw. So I'm going to click Spatial Rend here, and we're going to see whatever the heck happens. He could he could think that this is a sack. He could think that, I've, that I'm Focus Ash or something. I don't know. Now, Focus Ash isn't really that um, much of an issue for him, I don't think. However, he could assume... He could know that I have the Haban Berry, straight up, like, straight up, um, just assume that I have the Haban Berry. Um, but it would be a really interesting call for him to try to make here. And honestly, even getting him to switch out in this situation would be, um, kind of a small victory here. Especially since I will be able to get a free Spatial Rend on something that wants to come in here. Does go for a Dragon Claw without Mega Evolving will uh, activate my Haban Berry. Does not do a whole heck of a lot. And... Uh, yeah. So, I would have KO'd if I had gone for Surf, but this was one of those 50-50 plays where, um, honestly, just who knows what I should have done in that situation. Uh, that was a true 50-50, and he called it right. However, um, I'm not the most concerned about this because... I'm not the most concerned about this because no matter what, I think it'll allow my Blastoise to come in and uh, click Roar, and I think that's all that I really have to do here. Although now, I think about the point where even if he does Mega Evolve, I am reasonably free. Also, also I should be um, gauging damage. That was a regular Charizard, and that did about 60% on, on a Spatial Rend, so he might have a little bit of special of HP investment. Um, but I don't think enough to be concerned it looks like there might no okay uh i'm not the most concerned even though maybe i should be i don't know maybe i should be concerned but uh i think i think blastoise should be able to take whatever hit he would want to go for and it actually does look like Surf should KO, really, no matter what happens. It looks like Surf should KO, really, no matter what happens. So, I think I will just go for the Surf. 
Obviously, it has two water types in the back to go into, but just getting this thing out of here for now and keeping my Blastoise at, at a solid amount of health is going to be enough for me to be able to kind of take this on later in the match. So I don't feel like I mind a whole heck of a lot. And I'm just going to have to see how I want to play this later on in the match, right? Um, so my Lota can come in. I can potentially talk to my Lota, however... No, I don't think that's ever the play. I don't think I should ever uh, stay in because this... This Blastoise is far too valuable to me in order to take... Because it's, it's really the only way that I take on the... That I take on the Charizard. So, yeah. Yeah, no. I don't think that's ever a play that I'm able to, to make. Um... Thankfully, I did not go for the, for any type of, uh, crazy toxic play here. And I think this allows me to make the safest possible play. And, see, what I really want to do, what I really want to do is go into Mamoswine. And I think Mammoth Swine would allow me to get up rocks right now. Um, Mammoth Swine would allow me to get up rocks right now, right? But do we take hits? Like, how well are we taking hits here? All we've seen is Earth... I think we've already established that this thing doesn't have a lot of attack investment, if at all. And we've already seen... Well, we haven't seen Aeroblast yet, but I think we have to assume that this thing would have Aeroblast, right? And even at plus one, well, okay, so if it calm mines, then we take the Aeroblast on the next turn, and if it just goes for the Aeroblast, then I think we take two Aeroblast, yeah, 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 so it checks out no matter what, I can get off Stealth Rocks, and I can start, I mean, I can honestly threaten Ice Shard, and I, I don't have Ice Shard, but I can threaten it, right, uh, just go for another Calm Mind, I don't mind as long as I can get Rocks up, right, I think that is my, I think that's always going to be my thinking in this situation. I think that's always going to be the way that I think through this situation. Because I feel like I don't... See, okay. If I was super duper confident in the fact that this thing... Um... That this thing has no attack investment, I honestly could have clicked sub on this turn. Bought myself another turn of poison damage to rack up and gotten rocks up on the following turn. So, who knows? Who knows? Um, and I still could have threatened Ice, Ice Shard on the neck on the following turn. Um, however, does go for the Arrow Blast at plus one. So, according to this, it should do 52 to 61. That looks right, uh, right around in line for that. Uh, as I do get the rocks up. And I don't think I want anything taking uh, an Arrow Blast right now. So, part of me says I give this thing up. I really don't see any reason to want to bring anything in. Although, I could just bring in the Sogaleo, right? So, Sogaleo really doesn't have a whole lot of use. So, I could actually do that, right? Um, Because it looks like Mamoswine would have value in the later match. What I could do, right, is... If I'm in the Sogaleo... Um... Yeah. Because also what Sogaleo allows me to do is play some mind games with Denzel Curry. Okay. Um yeah, I kind of I kind of thought that this would be the case. Um So this will honestly could a lot let me get two big hits off on this. I mean, it would have been at minus 1, but now that this thing is in here, I can get two reasonably strong su strong sun steel strikes in. That would have been difficult to say if I didn't slow down there. But, um, Hitmon top. Hitmon top. I think we have to assume max HP here at the very least. And this thing could honestly be just super defensive. But Zen Headbutt, Zen Headbutt should be doing the most right now, too. And a chance to flinch. If I could deny rocks getting off the field, I mean, that would just be bananas here. And if it's not max HP, if it's some kind of crazy, like, bananas build here, then that would put me in a really interesting position. I put me in a really interesting position. I mean, I don't know how much I should... Yeah, that's super defensive. 
But I do get the flinch. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, I mean, I don't really know how to feel about that, but I'm pretty sure that was max defense, too. I'm pretty sure that was max defense. Could be max defense, but that I'm pretty... That's that's max defense bold. Almost a thousand percent max defense bold. Honestly, makes me want to over predict here, but I don't think I should. I mean, the Greninja can come in, right? If the Greninja does come in, then what do I do? If the Greninja comes in, if the Greninja comes in, then I would give up the Mammoth Swine. I'd give up the Mammoth Swine, and. I might honestly... Well, that would give him the form change. If I do give him... If I do give him a Mammoth Swine, that, that might honestly just let me start doing things with... Vicavolt, right? So, yeah. I don't think I really have to... Overpredict here. I think I can just click Zen Head, but it does withdraw, so... That's interesting. Uh, it does seem low enough... Oh, it is sacking this thing off, so... Sacking off the Lugia, which is... I cannot explain how bananas that is to me because Lugia was so difficult for me in um, in overall prep, right? Lugia was so, so difficult for me. But I don't see him straight up KOing this thing without a Mega Charizard. And if he, he could give up the Mega Charizard here in order to... In order to... Bring in the Greninja, finish it off, get the form change. But then I but then I would have to assume that the Greninja is its choice. And I don't even know if the I don't know. It would honestly also depend on whether or not the Greninja can KO a uh, Vicavolt. But no, then also then also I could potentially take take it on with Blastoise. Um, but that would be its own thing, right? That'd be its own thing. Honestly, he might have expected me to want to switch here. Although, no. If he if he really thought that, he, that I would switch, then he would... Um, I was thinking maybe he did that for a clean switch uh, after seeing what I, whatever I switch into. But if he really, really thought that that's what I was going to do, he would have stayed in and clicked Rapid Spin, right? Because that would have allowed him to keep the Ladia. The Lugia is what I meant to say. So, let's see. Yeah, this is really the only way he has to really, really handle this, right? Hmm. He could click Roost. He could actually click Roost. But I don't care if he click Roost, right? Because... I mean, I do care. I don't want to say that I don't care, but... Um... I don't think it's game losing for me if he does click Roost. I don't think it's game losing for me if he does click Roost. I don't know. This could be game losing for me, I don't, for all I know. But... Charizard X at neutral... I kind of have no idea how offensive this is, too. But against Mamoswine... Actually, if I'd stayed in with Zogaleo... No, Zen Headbutt wouldn't have done enough. He's roosting more than, than Zen Headbutt does to him. But... He has to Flare Blitz. He has to click Flare Blitz against this thing. He has to click Flare Blitz against this thing. Otherwise, he loses it. Does it allow me to do anything? I don't, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth making any type of crazy prediction here. Just let him take the recoil damage. Um. Yeah, just let him take the recoil damage. Which, again, puts him in range of Blastoise Surf. So I don't even really have to... Um, predict a whole heck of a lot. What I really should do if I if I really want to like have some balls in this situation is click toxic, right?
I think I might do that, right? Because he would want to keep this thing, right? This thing is 100% his win condition right now. This thing is 100% his win condition right now, right? It has to be. I'm going to click Toxic. We're going to see... I don't see... I don't see any situation where he just lets this thing go down. Especially when he has... When he, he probably has ways of wearing down Blastoise. He probably has ways of wearing down Blastoise. And I have to figure out... And because he can't really Dragon Dance, right? He, he, if he does stay in, he would have to attack me, right? And if he attacks, then... Yeah, I don't see any way that he would want to stay in here. I really cannot imagine him wanting to stay in here. But this is a really interesting position because... Because... This is opening the door more and more for my hitmon top, right? This is opening the door more and more for my hit. I would be surprised not to see the Milotic. Oh, yeah, there's the Milotic, okay. Okay, I felt that coming. Can we not miss Toxics, dude? Okay. Okay. I would really prefer not to continue to miss Toxics here. That. Okay. I have to figure out how to maneuver this. Because I clearly cannot let this thing take damage. I think, yeah, I think I have to make the super obvious play and go into my... Delmise, and I think, I think his strongest play would be to double into Greninja, potentially, because I think he knows that I can't let this thing take damage, and yeah, I think he knows that I can't let this thing take damage, right? And he's either going to Toxic, I feel like he either have to Toxic or switch out, go into, the, make that Greninja play. I think. I think. Yeah, it does go for the Toxic. That's totally fine. He, he, okay. This match is bananas. I'm gonna tell him that in just, just a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna dial in my move. I don't even know what I should go for here. I don't even know what to click here. I really want to click Power Whip, but Charizard is too obvious a play for him right now. Charizard X. I mean, honestly, I really want to click... Um, I really want to click Toxic here, assuming that the Charizard X would want to come in, but, but, uh, it's kind of a throw if he just stays in here, but why would he want to stay in here? I mean, he is Marvel scale, which is exactly why he would want to stay in here. This is tough. This is actually tough. Um... I have to think this through. Oh, I could also click Anchor Shot to try to trap this thing in. But he would want to switch out. Anchor Shot is right on the cusp of being able to KO the, the, the Charizard X outright. Part of me feels like Anchor Shot's a really strong play here. I'm gonna click Anchor Shot. I'm gonna see whatever happens. I don't know if this is a good play or not. Like, even a little bit. It goes into the Hitmon top. Okay. Yeah, no. This is pretty bad, because now he's gonna be able to spin rocks, and now I have really no solid counter plays against... Unless it's KO somehow, but it's not going to. It's definitely not going to. Um, I'm gonna click Toxic because I'm, I'm not even that sure that another Power Whip is gonna KO here. And I think I kind of have to just play this. I don't know. I can't get rocks back up because I gave up the Mammoth Swine. I'm kind of a sitting duck against the Charizard. Blastoise can't beat my Lodic. 
I have to win with Vikavolt. I have to win with Vikavolt. But he can easily toxic my Vikavolt. And then where does that leave me? Where then where does that leave me? I think now that I have him trapped in here. I think now that I have him trapped in here. I think the play should be to go into Vikavolt. And attempt. Wait, he didn't even click Rapid Spin, did he? I, let me check the bottom. He had to have. Yeah, I still have rocks on his side. I still have rocks on his side. I mean, it doesn't mean much because he's probably just assuming that he can do it in on, on this turn. But if I use this turn to go into Vikavolt, then Vikavolt can agility up. This thing goes down to Toxic anyway. I might have to eat a Toxic, though. Which is the really shitty part. Hmm. But. No, because then that means Vikavolt can't beat the Greninja. Yeah, there's a Rapid Spin. Oh! Of course, I'm a spin blocker. I I don't know why in the world that didn't occur to me. But I'm a spin blocker, so now, now the Charizard is stuck in with me. If the Charizard comes in, then I get to talk to the Charizard for absolutely free. I get to toxic the Charizard for free. Which I think means that... It can that Charizard can never beat Blastoise, even if it roosts up as much as it wants. It, it it doesn't have sub. At least I don't think it does. We've seen Roost, Dragon Dance, Flare Blitz, and maybe Earthquake. I don't know. So, probably some. Oh no, we've we've seen Dragon Claw. I'm pr I'm pr almost positive. Yeah, we've seen Dragon Claw. Yeah. So we know the full set. It can't. It can't outstall my Toxic. So, uh, accidental spin blocking by Delmai is the goat here. And, yeah, I think he, he, he can't bring in either of his waters because the waters are going to take... I mean, he could try to stall me out with my Lodic. My Lodic... A Flame Orb, my Lodic, is really strong against me. Oh, actually. Oh, but that's a healthy my Lodic. If it's burned, Power Up is still doing around half. It could recover stall me, but at that point, like, what do I care? Delmise is kind of being a goat right now. Delmise is kind of being a goat right now. Okay, uh, that was a really funny moment. So I've been playing so much VGC that I'm so used to like clicking the move and then having to target my uh, the opposing Pokemon, and. Uh, and I just had a weird moment where I just clicked talk and I was like, what, what, my move just, just, uh, just registered. But, um, but yeah, in singles, you don't have to choose your target. It just, the only target there. That was such a weird, uh, kind of airbrain moment there. But now he's in a position where he can stall out a little bit with these roosts and whatnot, right? But, um, I don't think he's ever going to get big enough to just straight up destroy my Blastoise. So, or he's going to take a lot of recoil and toxic damage from Flare Blitz. So I can click Anchor Shot, try to wear this thing down a little bit longer. If he d if he tries to Dragon Dance up right now, then uh, it wouldn't be the best position for him to be in. Uh, this has been a really intense matchup. This has been a really intense match. But, Delmize goes for the Dragon Claw, trying to preserve, um, but I don't think that's going to KO me, yeah. It's going to let me t chip away a little bit more at this thing. It's going to chip away just a little bit more at this thing. And honestly, it can roost up right now again. But I can also synthesis. I'm going to I'm going to make an attempt at synthesis this thing up right now. But regardless, I right this thing is still neutral, right? Yeah, this thing is still neutral. So I'm going to click synthesis. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is pretty much just how we have to play this. And uh, Delmize is an absolute goat right now. Delmize is an absolute goat. So the thing is, right, I also just realized that um, we've only played about 30 turns, but over, like, 30 minutes have gone by, so... We've been both playing this really slowly, and we could continue to play this really slowly, in all honesty, and uh, this could honestly go to timer, I guess. Um, but, honestly, what am I doing here, right? I, like, I don't really have to play for different engine. I don't have to really worry about much um, right now. I could honestly just play this to play this, and... Um, I think... Yeah, he's never going to click Dragon Dance. Or no, he's never going to click Flare Blades. So, I think... I can, uh... Assume that he's going to click Dragon Claw and... Go into this this boy right here. There it is. And then... I'm, I'm going to be able to double back into Delmize. And... Honestly, his best play, his absolute best play right now would be, um, to, would be to go into Greninja and try to get the form change off of my Delmize, but he's just going to click Flare Blitz and take some more recoil damage. And we're going to kind of be out here. This could KO, actually. Could this actually KO? Maybe not. Oof. Okay. Really close to KOing. And now I think I can actually safely let um Sogaleo go down. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to keep Sogaleo up right now. Is there a reason to keep Sogaleo up right now? I mean... Hmm. I don't know what I have to, what, I, what I can do because it's going to be really tough to beat the Greninja. It's going to be really tough to beat the Greninja. I think what I can do is go into this thing, and I think I can make the play again and double back into Sogaleo, and I don't know, just kind of try to let Delmai's, er, not Del, yeah. Yeah, well, no, I was going to say kind of let Delmize handle it, but yeah, actually let Delmize handle it because Delmize uh, got that Toxic off, right? So, I think just letting that damage take its toll and uh, pick up that KO. And now Greninja would be his best bet, but if he exposes a Greninja like that, then that would allow Vikavol to come in. Vikavol clicks... Vikavol clicks... Um... Thunderbolt against it. I don't think it can. I mean, I don't know. I, I have no. I have no real concept of how strong Ash Greninja is against Vigavolt in particular. But the best thing that I can do is try to wear it down. I mean, honestly, okay. So here's the thing. Here's the other thing, right? What I can try to do is is if I can take a hit, then I can toxic this Greninja. Then I can. Um, take some hits with Blastoise, and then from there, that would make... If if there's ever a scenario where Blastoise can take enough hits to take out this Ash Greninja, then Vikavolt for sure beats the... Then Vikavolt for sure beats the Milotic, and we win from there. But, um... If this Greninja can legitimately like tear through my team, then I'm in genuine like if this is if this is a Specs Ash Greninja that's gonna Dark Pulse all over my team, then I'm in trouble. I think. Then I think I lose. I think I lose. Um. Yeah, I think actually all all the, this Greninja just has to be Specs and Specs Dark Pulse just beats my team. Specs Dark Pulse just beats me. 
But it would have to be specs, to be fair. It would have to be specs. There's the Dark Pulse. It's probably going to take me out. It's going to give him his form. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. That's actually huge. That's actually huge. But the fact that he couldn't take me out... Actually, it might actually still mean that he specs. Which would be genuinely really scary. It would be genuinely really scary. Is there any world in which... Huh. Actually, Blastoise Surf is doing enough damage where I think it makes sense. But, yeah. I think this thing is probably Specs. It could be Scar- could it be Scarfed? I don't remember how much HP I was at. Okay, I'm actually going to pause the recording just to be able to, to look back at how many- how much I was at. Okay, so I went from 167 down to, uh, somewhere. Okay. I'm going to super count this. So, I was at- 167 and let's say went down to 60 i know it's going to be a little bit more but let's just say for the sake of argument argument it did a it did about like one it says 107 let's say it did like 120 or so right let's say it did about 120 or so in its base form yeah yeah no greninja i don't think it specs that's a high roll for no actually you know what it could be? It could be Expert Belt? Expert Belt makes sense to me, actually. Expert Belt makes sense to me, I think. Because if it did around 130, that, that would be a low roll for Expert Belt. But regardless, I think the larger point is that it's not Specs. And... That Blastoise will be able to take a hit. Let's just say... Let's just say it's like... Dark... Dark gem... Um... Dark plate. I don't know. What's the dark plate? Pokemon plates. Dread plate. That's it. I didn't even have to... <laughs> I opened the I opened the web page, but I didn't even like look through the list. I just I just remember that like as the as the page was opening. I'm almost positive that it's dread plate. Okay, yeah, let's assume dread plate, right? Dread dread, dread plate damage seems about right. So if my Blastoise should actually take two hits, and then yeah, I I I think I think there's no way that I could lose this. Oh, unless he withdraws and he tries to make something happen here, but. Hmm. Actually, no. I don't think I don't. I don't even think this matters because, um, he almost has to click recover, right? And I don't think anything he does can two hit KO. He would have to pull a double right now. He would have to double right now. But even then, I don't think any one hit can KO, um, Vicaval, right? So I think. I think Vicavol can KO the Milotic. It gets taken out by the... It gets taken out by the Greninja. And then Plastoise just is the last one standing here. Let's talk. That's that's fine. That's fine. I don't, I don't think this matters. I really don't think this matters. I mean, this thing could have protect. Wow, that would be really bonkers. But Vicavol Thunderbolt should still be doing a whole heck of a lot. If this thing has protect, I'd be blown away. Actually, I don't know. This thing could be, like, max special defense. Even then, yeah. You can Havoc should always do this. Gigavolt Havoc should always do this. Goes for recover. I don't think that matters. I don't think that ever matters. I think this should always pick, it, pick this up. Now, I, I'm not going to say that... I'm not going to say that it wouldn't be really, really cool for Gigavolt to be able to pick up both KOs, right? So... If Greninja is not doing enough damage, then Vicavolt can pick up two, both KOs. But um, 
I think I think if it is Dreadplate, then it will KO me. I think if it is Dreadplate, then Vicavolt will KO me. He would have to like land Hydro Pump in order. In order to, um, Dreadplate Dark Pulse does a max of 138 HP. It does a max of 138 HP and. Uh, okay. Okay, so at if if I'm at 128 HP, then Dreadplate Vicavolt or Dreadplate Greninja has 44% chance to KO. If it lands a Hydro Pump, then it 100% KOs me, and I win with uh with Blastoise. But I just clicked Thunderbolt here, and I hope that we can win. I hope we can win. There's a Dark Pulse. Can we take this hit? Yes! Alright, there it is. Alright. I know it didn't matter a whole heck of a lot, but um, being able to win with Vigavolt and getting and, and winning 2-0 with the final two KOs going to Vigavolt, that does genuinely feel really good, um, especially when uh, I had to deal with a dang Lugia, right? Vigavolt was my only way of dealing with Lugia, and Vigavolt didn't even have to hit the field, which meant that Vigavolt could win because I could deal with the Lugia in other ways, and that was really satisfying regardless. Um, that's gonna be our second win. We are, uh, doing some things, right? This, I, th I believe this will put us at two and seven, so yeah, we should, this should be week nine, as I was, uh, doubting myself earlier, but, um, that'll put us at two and seven, that'll, that'll, uh, give us some wins, we, that's given us some stuff to build on, I mean, as a season's ending, but, you know what, we'll take our wins wherever the heck we can get them, that was a fantastic game to Shady, um, thank you guys so much for watching, we'll be back really, really soon with, uh, more weeks of the Academy, and, uh, I'll just say it right now, because I'm so excited about this, and I'm excited about everything right now, um, but the PGBL will be starting up really, really soon, we are drafting currently, and, uh, it's going to be a whole lot of fun, but with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be once again, out.